All right. So let us present. Where's the present? From beginning. And I shall turn. Okay. Are the subtitles working? They are. All right. So my Tokyo Mew Mew presentation completed in 10 minutes. Okay. And let us. All right. So first off, I want to talk about the outfits. Oh, wait. <laughs> I didn't watch this. Okay, great. So you know what I'm talking about. All right. So Ichigo, the girl in pink. Her outfit is better than everybody's. It looks normal and fine here because it's the exact same outfit just with different colors, right? Like it looks fine here. But then you look here and she's the only one who looks nice. Why is she the only one that gets a nice pretty skirt? And let us get some little weird, you know, spiky action. Very fair. With the very leotard. Fair. Like mint and pudding are literally wearing jumpsuits. Mm -hmm. Those are literally jumpsuits with the little like leg thing. I forget what that's called, but... It looks ridiculous that she has this beautiful skirt, beautiful boots, and she has all of this decoration. And then mint, pudding, and lettuce look terrible, and Zakuro is literally just wearing a two-piece. It looks like a swimsuit. With boots. Like, I don't understand. And it happens all the time. Like, the ballroom episode, when they were all wearing, you know, elegant dresses that Shirogane picked for them, hers was the only one that looked nice. The others were very plain. She had, like... This whole little mini skirt, and then you know a little tail in the back. The rest were just plain straight dresses. Or a tutu for mint. It was annoying. Also, I hate Zakuro. Purple is my favorite color, but so far in the series, I see her as useless. Watching the last episode, she stood around and did nothing. What, interacts in, what interactions has she had with the other characters that actually develops her as a character? We already have the rich, lonely trope with Mint. We don't need a second one. We already have it with Mint. I just don't understand. If we just had never added her and cut her out, that'd be like three episodes less of content. And the story would continue perfectly fine. To be fair, that's how a lot of them are, but mostly for her. Mm -hmm. So I just hate her. I love purple, but I hate her. She's useless. She also looks too much like Ichigo. Tail, ears... She looks too much like Ichigo. She needs to be a bit more different if she's going to stay. Next, Aoyama. So this is actually not a complaint, but a lot of people I saw considered him boring or, like, useless. He is boring, though. Okay, I didn't consider him boring because he straight up put a collar on Ichigo. Like, he literally collared a girl that is kinky. But I agree. I feel like if he had joined the Mew Mews, like, if... Ichigo had confided in him her secret identity. He could have started working at the cafe, and he could have been there to help her. Like, imagine. Imagine he's telling her to go on a dangerous mission, and he's like, you better come back safely, because he has an attitude. Like, that would have made him so much more it interesting if he had just been more involved in the story with Ichigo. Mm -hmm. I also love his tan skin. Like, I just love his tan skin. But seriously, he would have been a great character if he had just had that moment. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Kiss you! Ichigo should have ended up with him. <laughs> okay. But here's the other thing I want to say. I wish, I really wish he had confessed earlier so that we could have seen his internal struggle between choosing between Ichigo and these humans and Blue Moon. I would have loved to see yeah, that, that conflict, <laughs> that internal conflict yeah. in him. Because I don't want some smirking dude for 50 episodes. I want to see someone struggling and questioning their identity. I want to see somebody developing into who they want to be instead of who they were told to be. Yeah. Whether Ichigo ends up with him or not, I'll be fine as long as he got that development. Okay? Okay. <laughs> Do you have a disagreement? No, actually, I agree with you. Yeah, he would have been great if he had just had that internal struggle. Pudding is the best character. <laughs> Pudding is the best character. <laughs> I still hate how her outfit looks a little bit ridiculous, but she is the best character, okay? She interacts the most with all the other characters. She is the reason you are still smiling while watching the series, because she is there. Fair. Her energy, her smile, her bubbly attitude, it is what keeps you going. That is the, that is the interaction we need between the characters, instead of, you know, Ichigo just blushing and walking away all the time. <laughs> I'm sorry, but... <sighs> I see more character development when she interacts with people than when other characters interact with each other. <laughs> I, she should have been the main character. 
Imagine the story of a little elementary school girl with her older sisters trying to save the world with them. That would have been adorable. Are you disagreeing? No. I think that'll be cute. <laughs> Lettuce was done. Lettuce was done dirty. Yeah. She was done dirty. Look at this beautiful, yeah. luxurious hair. And then it goes into these two stupid, ugly braids. Yeah. Like, if those braids had just been thicker, if those braids had just been more realistic, she would have looked normal. Mm -hmm. She would have looked great. She would have looked beautiful. And if her hair had been, I don't know, maybe down or a little bit decorative instead of just cut off, mm -hmm. she, again, would have looked beautiful. Yeah. So I feel like if that, if just her hair had been changed, I would be able to ignore the outfit. But she had both. So it just made her look really, really bad. Yeah. And that is the end of my presentation. Did you like it? It was beautiful. I'm glad I made some good points.